He's obviously doing what he's told. I mean, he's becoming weaker and weaker, and Meghan just gives him orders, it seems, and he does it. Because I don't think any man, we're talking about men and women here, if we don't think any man would actually want to do that to his family, he can go away, live a life that he wants, but I don't think you then bring up something where there is absolutely no... Prof Royal biographer Angela Levin has slammed Prince Harry for being weak and allowing racist claims to be peddled against his own family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will receive the Robert F. Kennedy, RFK, Human Rights Award for speaking up against the structural racism within the institution of the UK monarchy. Miss Levin told GB News host Stan Wooten, it makes me sick seeing Prince Harry accept money and an award for trying to prove that his family was racist. Author Harry, a biography of a prince, Angela Levin said, it actually makes me feel sick that Harry, who was close to his father until he got married, actually felt that he could accept money and award for trying to prove that his family was racist. There's zero proof. He's obviously doing what he's told. I mean, he's becoming weaker and weaker, and Meghan just gives him orders, it seems, and he does it. Because I don't think any man would actually want to do that to his family. President of the RFK Human Rights Organization, Carrie Kennedy, said the pair were heroic for calling out the royal family's apparent wrongdoings. She said, they went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong, that they couldn't have structural racism within the institution, that they could not maintain a misunderstanding about mental health. They knew that if they did this, there would be consequences, that they would be ostracized, they would lose their family, their position within this structure, and that people would blame them for it. They have done it anyway because they believed they couldn't live with themselves if they didn't question this authority. I think they have been heroic in taking this step. The annual Ripple of Hope Awards are presented to those the RFK organization believes best personifies Bobby Kennedy's ethos. Previous winners include former presidents Barrett's Obama and Bill Clinton, and the late Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Ms. Levin was not the only commentator who disagreed that the Sussexes merited such a prestigious award. Talk TV presenter and Reform UK leader Richard Tice told Dell MT Infinite Channel host Piers Morgan, Harry and Meghan's heroic award is fraudulent. Richard, isn't this really the worst aspect of celebrity, which is they've made themselves famous with all the trashing they've been doing. And as a result, the liberal elite in America want to be associated with them because they'll get huge publicity for their events. But it's worse than that, Piers, because actually we now know, and you identified it early doors, that the accusations that she leveled against the royal family were false. Yes. And so they'd be given an award, an award for something that is basically false. And therefore, in my view, the award itself is fraudulent. I completely agree. Stop. You agree with our picks. Check out this other recent clip from LMT Infinite Channel. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.